According to the committee reports, funding for the fourth quarter will allow for expansion in our supply chain, marketing, and hello? Can you hear me? No, this cannot be happening. Our clients have strict deadlines and we have failed them. Hi, I'm in the middle of an extremely important presentation and I just lost internet connection. Is there anything that can be done? Uh, okay, could you please tell me your zip code so I can check our coverage there? Sure, it's 23421. Okay, checking, checking. Ah, oh, sorry, our coverage is terrible in that area. Unfortunately, all I can really recommend is checking with other service providers or consider moving. Move? Are you serious? Yep. I have several zip codes that you could consider moving to that have far better coverage. You could look at 2337, 23314, 24714. Wow, this is just ridiculous. You shall have chosen by, sir. Have a nice day, sir. COVID confirmed just how reliant we are on the internet. As of 2022, 26% of U.S. employees work from home, and 40% of workers believe their productivity has improved while working remote. It seems as if this trend towards remote workspaces is likely to stick, and the U.S. economy will only grow more reliant on the internet in the future. However, poor internet speeds are a major hurdle for this transition to occur. Fast internet requires infrastructure. This infrastructure can take years and years to expand into new neighborhoods, going through government bureaucracy, engineering, and construction. It's not cheap either. Virginia government officials recently devoted $700 million to expand broadband into underserved neighborhoods, and it's still unclear if this is enough to cover all neighborhoods in Virginia. Deciding where to prioritize expanding broadband is critical for all this time and money to not go to waste. While there is data on current measurements of internet speeds, conditions are always changing. It would be very nice to be able to predict what the average internet speed would be given hypothetical parameters. And this is where our team steps in. We sought to create a model that estimates perfectly the internet speed in the given region. To do so, we started with a data set from Broadband Now, which contains data such as geolocation, county, percent access to broadband internet, number of providers, and all the internet-related stuff. Optimistic about what future may hold for us, we send this data to a pipeline and directly into regression model. The end. We all can go home now. Or at least this will be the case in a perfect world. Unfortunately, in reality we live in, the data set was in desperate need of cleaning. And the cleaning it got. What do you do when your model struggles with data prediction? You throw more data at it! But carefully. This is where future engineering begins. So, we started with converting zip codes into latitude and longitude. Then, we added population density for each region and parsed the data accordingly. Still, our model was barely beating a random coin flip generator. So, we decided to unleash a kraken we did not dare to look upon before. There was a column representing fastest internet speed in the region. We decided to convert this numerical quantity into a new feature, general, general internet quality. This feature consists of six categories, varying from burst to super. After that, we threw our result at almost every single known to mankind regression model. And it worked. The top three performance were random forest regressor with an R2 score of 86.7%, decision tree with an R2 score of 80.4%, and gradient boosting regressor with an R2 score of 72.2%. Our model's biggest shortcoming is the limited number of data points it was trained on. The training dataset had only 732 entries. Furthermore, some of the features are very specific, and finding data that matches these features could be a challenge, but is hopefully still collected by organizations like Broadband Now in the future. Our random forest regressor provides a reliable prediction of the average internet speeds with an R2 score of 86.7%. With the Virginia government pledging to provide universal broadband coverage by 2024, this model can be used to predict what quality of broadband will be provided, given the hypothetical infrastructure they build. Furthermore, it can be used to predict internet speeds in future conditions. 
such as a different population or population density with the current infrastructure. Both these applications will inform engineering leaders and policymakers on where